Hey y'all, it's your girl LaCrista and I'm back with another video. Hey y'all, it's your girl LaCrista and like I said, I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I decided to do 10 facts about me. I know I did assumptions, I know I did a Q&A, but I was like, maybe I should throw the facts out there to them so they can know more about me coming from me. So if you are interested in that, just stay tuned. And just as a disclaimer, um, please don't get too caught up in the, cause I, the way I'm doing mine is bad versus good as you can tell on the title or by the title. So please don't get too caught up in the bad things cause it's, at the end of the day, we all human. We all have our flaws, nobody's perfect. And the only thing that's different is I choose to share mine, and I'm pretty sure the people that are watching it keep it to themselves or they're telling their friends. I'm actually putting it out there on YouTube. So, like I said, it's just a video. Yeah, these facts are true, but like I said, we are all human. Human. <laughs> so let's get to this video. Fact number one: I hold grudges, and I know y'all thinking like, "Come on, sis, like life is too short to be holding grudges." I agree. But it depends on what you do to me. If you do something like really, really trifling, I can stay mad at you for years. And I'm just being honest. I can hold grudges. And also, I'm a cancer. I don't know if that plays a part in it or if it's just the type of person that I am. But I can definitely hold grudges. I try not to because I don't want anybody to block my blessings. But sometimes I don't think about that. And I'm like, okay, this person did X, Y, Z to me. So forget them. I'm done. But that's, that's one bad thing about me. Working on it, though. I'm definitely working on it. Fact number two, I can be very vengeful, meaning if you do something to me that is very trifling and unforgivable, I will find ways to get you back. That's another thing I'm worried about because the Bible says, vengeance is mine, says the Lord. Yes, I do know some scriptures because like I said, my mom is a preacher. I know some scriptures. You're not supposed to do vengeful things. Karma comes around to the person that it supposed to go to so let karma handle it let god handle it don't handle it yourself but i'm just being real with y'all i'm very vengeful if somebody do something to me i will get them back at the last minute they might not even know what's coming and i'm just being honest with y'all like i said i'm just keeping it 100 so please don't hate me for keeping it real would you rather be real or would you rather be fake real number three i think most of us can relate to this but I hate being wrong. I hate being wrong. Now, I can admit when I'm wrong, but I hate being wrong. I like to be right about everything because, like, who wants to be wrong about everything or anything at all? But let's face the facts. We are human. We don't know everything like we think we do. So we are going to be wrong at some point in time, and we just got to take that L. So I have to admit, I am wrong a lot, but I hate to be wrong. Fact number four. I speak my mind. Now, actually, this could be good and bad. I put it on the bad list because I speak my mind to the point where you're going to know how I feel about you. You're going to know if I don't like something. You're going to know if I don't like you. And you're going to know if I don't like what you do, how you carry yourself. I'm just going to be real. So if you want those people that don't like the truth, then don't come. Don't deal with me, please. I'm going to tell you the truth. I'm not saying I'll say it in the meanest way or say it in a mean way, period. But I'm going to let you know straight up like, hey, I don't like this. Why didn't I tell me my shirt was crooked? I'm going to tell you, hey, I don't like this. Um, you know, that you was wrong for that. But I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't like what you did to me. I don't like how, what you just said to me. I don't like how you came at me. I'm going to let you know because that's just the type of person that I am. And I wasn't always like that. I used to be scared to speak my mind. But I explained to y'all in my assumptions video after getting bullied and, you know, walked over. I kind of learned how to be a stronger person. So I'm definitely going to let you know how I feel. Number five, I get irritated so fast. And this is very bad because sometimes people could be joking with me and I might just be like, get irritated with that person. Like, oh, please stop messaging me or just leave me alone. Or my kids might make a loud noise and I just get really mad. Like, I get irritated really, really fast. That's something I'm trying to work on because the more irritated you get, you can get stressed out and all that stuff. And it's not even worth it at the end of the day. So I'm trying to work on that too. Like, I'm trying to, like, I, I really believe in the quote, don't stress over things you can't control. So I try to let little things irritate me. I try to just let it be what it is, you know. So I'm working on that. I want to say all these bad things about me, all the five bad facts that I made, I'm definitely working on it. 
Number six, now these are the good traits about me. I could be a very nice person, which is true. I like to help people. There has been plenty of people that contact me about YouTube, even though I'm not a big YouTuber, not even close to being one. But I do know, you know, a little bit of stuff that needs to be done to get there, you know? So I help people. I give out compliments. Um, I'm very supportive. I could be a very nice person. So everybody that thinks I'm so mean, I'm this bad person, not true. Like I said, we all are human. We are not perfect. And I could be a very nice person. Just have to get to know me. Or if you rub me the wrong way, you won't see that side of me. But people that have saw my nice side, you definitely know that I'm not lying when I say I'm a nice person. Number seven, I am very goofy. It's never a dull <laughs> moment with me. Like that is so true. I'm very goofy. I like to laugh, I like to joke. Sometimes um, my jokes might, I'm not gonna say they're offensive, but it's like kind of like slick talking jokes. So people like that about me too because it's, it's, uh, it's a sense of humor. Like who wants a dull, boring person that just sits there and don't talk or stuck up and think they're too cute to interact? Like that's not me. Like yeah, I am antisocial a little bit, but when it's people that I know that I'm comfortable around, that I chill with, I want to say I'm the life of the party because I'm very goofy. I like to laugh, I like to joke, I like to have fun. And that's just who I am. Despite the RBF that I have, despite the attitude that I might have, I'm a very, very goofy person. Love to laugh. And I love someone that can make me laugh. Number eight, I'm very good at communicating. As you all can see, I can get my point across. I can let you get your point across. And we can talk things out. I don't think you can get anywhere without communication, whether it's a relationship, friendship, work whatever the case may be you always have to have good communication skills and i'm very good at communicating like i like to let people know my point of view i'm not gonna lie sometimes i do do a bad job of letting people say what they gotta say it depends on the situation i am bad hearing them out but for the most part i think i'm very good at communicating um just some little minor errors i need to work on so yeah that's another good trait about me or a good fact number nine i'm very adventurous okay i believe in having fun like life is too short to just be sitting around in the house bored to death which is what i do majority of the time because i don't have a babysitter and the car issues i've been having so that puts like that puts a hold on my adventurous side but i'm very adventurous like i want to go camping i want to um go to the grand canyon I want to go fishing again. I want to go out of state. I want to go out of the country. Like, I just want to travel. I want to do all that stuff. I went to Hawaii one time back in 2010. Um, and it was not a good experience because of the person that I went with. But I had fun overall just being in there, you know, being in a different scene. So I'm, I'm very adventurous. And I think that's a good trait because um, nobody wants a boring person. Like, come on now. And number 10. I am very, very loving. I believe that's part of my cancer trait. I'm very loving. Um, I love people to a certain extent. Sometimes people get on my nerves, but I do love people, okay? I love people. I like to cuddle. When I really, really care about somebody, I'll do anything and everything for them. I'm very attentive to someone's needs as long as they are, you know, doing what they need to do for me. I'm the same way. Um, I have one best friend. I show her love, I tell her I love her, I make sure um, I try to talk to her as much as I can, even though sometimes I be in my little moods and on flight talking, but she, like we grew up like sisters, so she know I love her. Um, I don't tell her what she wants to hear, I tell her what she needs to hear, because I love her, I'm a very loving person, um, meaning I like to touch and be touched, like I'm not, like I like to hug and all that stuff, you know, I'm, I'm just a loving person, it's kind of hard to explain, but I'm a loving person, okay? So, those were all 10 facts about me. Like I said, I hope y'all didn't take it to heart too much because we are human, we all have our downfalls, we all have our flaws, and we all have mistakes that we make, and we all, we're not perfect. So, those are the 10 facts about me, and I hope y'all got a better understanding of who I am, even though, like I said, I did the assumptions video, the Q&A, but I wanted to throw some facts out there, like I said. So, with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you won't miss any content at all. Thank you to all my supporters, because where would I be without y'all? Like, seriously, where would I be without y'all? I don't care how many low subscribers I have. Like, I don't care if I'm only in my 600s. This still means a lot to me that y'all still watch my videos and comment and like. I really appreciate that. So, 
I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. I hope y'all enjoyed this video, like I said, again. And I shall see y'all in the next video. Bye, y'all.